that comes from whenever people are fighting, are struggling, when there is war, wherever there is hatred, there is a negative energy because this is their lifeblood. So they're instigating all these kinds of situations where people fight amongst each other, amongst themselves. You can have a fight with yourself. Um, and also in groups, like in wars, in neighbors' neighborhoods, in towns and cities. That is a negative energy which wants us to be at each other's throat so that we ooze out that loose energy, which is their food. A very interesting side point here, a friend pointed out recently that this story is not all that new. We have seen it in a movie, and I forgot all about it. It was some 20 years ago for children. It's called Monster Inc. I think it was a Disney movie, <laughs> animated. And actually, the monsters are having neat energy. And what they do, they send the monsters out at <laughs> night to scare the little kids. And their screams and so on are the energy which they need for survival. <laughs> I find it very funny. I laughed about it that Hollywood always has a lot of things right in advance. But They're I, always telling us what's true. <laughs> it is for some reason that, and I totally forgot about it. But yes, that video clearly shows how the negative energy is lifeblood for those who need it. So they are very interested that we constantly live and struggle and fight. And that is only part of the story. Or maybe I'll make a break, and if you have come some question, I can continue that. Yeah, let's, let's break just a little bit, because you would think, I mean, I've been thinking about karma, and I've been thinking about cause and effect, and our souls recycle, or go around, come around, re reincarnation. You would think that at some point, we wouldn't just fall for this over and over again, because you can see the divisive forces out there. You can see that, that there's... There's stuff out there in the media that's always trying to divide us, whether it's political divide or social divide or countries or, I mean, everywhere, enemies are being put up there for us to not like. It's our ego which, which loves to be fearful and afraid or guilty, whatever lives in the past and in the future. And since we all have still an ego, more or less, a strong one, we fall easily for all kinds of, of awful rumors, stories, and, 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 and love. Our ego loves it to make us feel because, again, it creates negativity. Whenever we are in this fearful, worrying kind of state, we are giving energy to the negative entities which mm -hmm. are surrounding us individually and group-wise. So they welcome this stuff. They just like feed on, feed on us when we fall, when our ego falls into the being afraid of the tomorrow and being guilty about the yesterday, but not living in the in present, because in the present we're always okay, as Byron Katie says, except from your thoughts, and uh, you are okay right now, aren't you? And it's true, it's only our thoughts which keep us either in a negative mood uh, or sometimes in a positive mood, we have got positive thoughts, but when we are in the here and now, we are usually a 99, 100% actually fine. It's only mm -hmm, our thoughts, mm -hmm which makes us, gives us the trouble. 